Hello, this is a demonstration of the UI Picker View in iOS 6.1. Um, this is the uh, iOS SDK. The um, version is called Xcode. X, X, excuse me, Xcode 4.6. Um, this is simulating a iPhone 6.1. This component is called a Picker View, and what this code is doing is basically in the uh, let me go into the view controller the H. You're saying view controller, which is a um, which inherits everything from UI view controller, and it, and it instigates uh, uses the protocol UI picker view data source and UI picker view delegate. These two here. So I'm creating an NS mutable array, which is an array which is able to be changed. The contents of the array can be changed. The elements of the array. If I go to view control M, we'll see here um, we return the number of components in picker view is one because this one wheel here, this big, this wide drum here, this wheel is um, one element. Um, if you had, um, let's say, for example, go back to the object library. Where's the object library? There we go. If you had a date picker, for example, you'd have three components. You see, sorry, four components. Um, there we go. Uh, you'd have the date, time, hours, time, minutes, and AM, PM. We're not using that, so let's delete that. Um, so this is one component, whereas before, that was one, two, three, Four components where my hand is one, two, three, four components. So each one of those wheels is a component. So basically, what they're doing, we're setting up an array, um, an NS mutable array called mood list. And mood list equals NS mutable array. Um, I lock it and in it with objects, and you put an object in each part in each section of the array. Uh, this is a zero base array, so happy, sad, overjoyed, indifferent, etc., etc., etc. And then you terminate it with nil, which means end of array. And then um, what you basically do is I've, I've actually modified this uh, this um, sample, so I put a text box in here. So when someone actually types something in the text box, it changes the first option in the picker. Changed. You see, for example, it now says happy. If I move it, it will say changed. You see, because I put change in the box. So what's happening there is, um, what I'm telling it is, there's a button here in the background. You can't see it. If I go into the dock, you can see the button, which is there. It's um, sent to the back, so you can't see it. And it's um, a custom button, which means it, it's invisible, basically. It basically means when someone touches anywhere apart from the text box and the pick of you, the keyboard moves out the way. Let me show you that again. So, if I click in the text box, up comes the keyboard. If I click anywhere in the blank area here on the UI, it moves out the way. That's a button doing that. Hidden button. So, what I'm saying is, this is an IB action for that button, the hidden one. Um, I'm calling it do resign. The method's called do resign. Uh, text box resign first responder, which means the text box is no longer the first thing to respond in the in the interface when you do something. Um, I do an NS log res resign first responder. Um, I also, well, that's it for that. Um, what else we're doing there? Ah, oh, yes, here we go. Here's the method which. Uh, This is but this method here um, is detecting the picker view being rolled up and down, being being moved up and down. So when it is uh, moved up and down, in the case of zero index, one index, or two index of the array, if the uh, if this if the rows on this wheel, um, the one if the row if the row selected on this picker view 
is 0, 1 or 2, um, the background colour will be green, 3, 4, 5, grey, 6, 7, 8, black, 9, 10, 11, uh, dark text colour, whatever that is. Uh, the default is orange, I think that's right, let me check. Yeah, default's orange, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, it's not, it's grey. Okay, let's quit that simulator and run it again. I'm pretty sure it's orange. We'll soon see. Come on, iPhone simulator, hurry up. Where are you? Oh, it's grey. Well, never mind. Um, let's quit that. So basically, um, for every selection or number of selections on this picker, um, the background colour will change. And I also say when the background is when when the picker is changed up or down when something happens, um, the picker view will, will send a message to the delegate uh, delegate method inside my view controller and say the picker has been changed. What do I do? And it basically changes background colour here. And at the bottom of the method it says mood list, which is the uh, NS mutable array. Replace object at index zero, which is which means basically replace this happy object in the first uh, element of the array with object text box text, which means replace that array element with whatever's in this text box here. And then um, these are just NS log diagnostic messages here. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, iOS development. It's quite fun. Well, it's great fun. Um, finally get it to sink in my brain after about three years but um, that's what I'm doing I'm saving it for a Mac Mini so uh, at the moment this is a virtual machine but uh, you know, I'm saving it for a Mac Mini so yeah thanks very much guys there we go oh happy to disappear again what, what happened there before I go is when I moved the wheel let me just quit this There we go. Let's just quit this. Right, run it again. Stop. Run it again. When it first loads, it's loaded in the the elements from the array. So happy is at the top. When I move it, it's told to load the, the, the first array, the zero index, the zero element of the array, is told to load whatever's in the text box. So obviously nothing's in there, so it's loaded nothing. So if I put in something and then move it. You see it's loaded back in something there. Take care. God bless you. Goodbye.